caveat I have with space travel is that while it's spectacular and I really think that we need to colonize Mars and all this stuff, it is not a solution to ignoring planet Earth. People will say this. They'll say that, well, you know, technology will all save us. Uh, we don't have to have a conservation ethic because there'll be cold fusion. Or there'll be some solution to all these energy need problems. And while that's probably true, I see a different perspective than most people have. You know, with these telescopes, we look out into the universe and beyond our own galaxy, and we don't have the resolution of the Kepler Space Telescope to actually find extrasolar planets. But it certainly gives you a perspective that a planet that can sustain life is probably a very rare commodity. And so making the most out of the planet we have is far more important than trying to advance ourselves to another area that we can use up. Certainly this comes home with the concept of how expensive space travel is. The estimates right now is that it costs about $300,000 to send a kilogram of material to Mars. I weigh in at about 100 kilos, so just moving me to Mars would be phenomenally expensive. It's far less expensive to be a little bit better stewards of the planet we have. Because if we can keep the oceans healthy, if we can keep our land's ecosystems in a good, high-functioning state, then that gives us all the resources we need to be able to make these big leaps to move on to other worlds. But if we find ourselves in a situation where we kind of ignore the machinery that is the planet and we continue to exploit it without putting anything back, we're going to find ourselves in a situation where we literally do not have enough natural resources to make the spaceship we need to be able to go somewhere else and perpetuate the human species as a biological entity. It's a little bit scary, I guess, for me when I think about it. They, they talk about the idea of being able to travel a thousand light years with a significant population of humans would require about 10% of the natural resources on planet Earth as we know it. So basically we have 10 chances of being able to find life somewhere else in the universe as scientists and engineers speculate now. And minimizing Earth's ability to sustain us now is not going to make those odds any better. It's going to make it a lot worse.